Well, here we go. I came in here for pigs. And uh, I think I just killed a couple coyotes. About 20 minutes ago, we had a... I'll show you when I flipped the camera around. We had a, I had a couple of deer come through here. I got a video of the first one. Second one, I hit the wrong button on the phone. But we had I had two deer, and I'm set up. And so I just let them pass. It's not deer season. It's kind of nice to see them. I'm only three sticks up in the tree, too. I, I couldn't get any higher. Um, and neither of them deer even saw me. These coyotes didn't even see me. And uh, they came out from the same direction that the, uh, I think they were following the deer. But I know for sure I got one that's uh, that's down. Let me flip this thing around and I'll show you. Okay, uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Right where this, this clump of tree, this clump of bushes are, he was, I had to lean over this one and make a shot right between there. I had to go, he's down there, I saw him thrashing around and if you look back in this area there's two of them going through the brush by the time I got my gun up they were almost out of the range and uh, I think I hit one I'm not for sure it was a total of three of them I hit the one I had the best shot on so uh, we'll uh, we'll climb down here a little bit and we might just go ahead and go ahead and go home so but uh, anyway a few less coyotes chasing these deer that's where I was, the very top of this tree. I am now ground, down at ground level. Boy, it looks so much different being up in the tree than on the ground. You know, if y'all was on the ground, there's no way I could have uh, had a shot at those coyotes. So I haven't even been over there yet. Um, I know one's dead. Uh, we'll go see if we can find where I shot the other one at. And uh, we're gonna walk over there. I'm gonna grab my gun and I'm gonna head over there. So I'll see you in a second. Got some big old patch of blood there. Looks like he did take off. Look like he got up underneath there. I couldn't I couldn't see. Uh we're gonna try to work our way back over there across that water. Maybe he did get across that water. Let's go see. Yeah, he got a got across water. Look at there. There he is right there. So we're gonna go look at him here in a few minutes. Let's go see if we can find the other one. Yeah, I think I missed the uh, the very first one I shot at. Got the other one though. My the tree I was I was in. Let's see. It's I can't see it very well. But it is, let's see, it's this, it's this tree, whoops, it's right there. <laughs> Big old fat thumb in there, but it's a tree right in the middle of the screen. So, as you can tell, this is what I had to shoot. I'm standing about where the coyotes were, so yeah. Um, I missed this one. There's no blood. There's there's nothing on this side. But we got the other one. So let's go take a look at him. Yeah, the blood was over there underneath that palmetto. He come across the water here. And uh, there he is right there. I hit him. Basically, I hit him in the back. Or the back half. Uh, blew his, uh, blew his uh, abdominal area. Just blew it out. Yeah, he didn't make it very far. So I'm gonna pull him out and take a few pictures and get out of here, so. Well, there he is. He, uh, one less coyote going after these deer, so. Anyway, yeah, they, uh, uh I think uh, that clip on the very first part where I showed the, the deer that come walking by, after there was another one that followed it. And uh, I tried to get video of it. I hit the wrong button on the stupid phone, so I didn't get video of it. About 20 minutes later, three of these rascals come walking up the same trail. I took a, two of them. There was there was two at first. They went through, by the other way, and uh, they were in that pretty thick brush by the time I got my gun around. They were moving pretty quick, and uh, I shot. I missed that one, 
So I rechambered the gun and I hadn't even put the gun up. And this 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 guy he come walking out there and he stood still just too long. So shot him probably I'd say from the tree to where I shot him at. I'd say probably 40 to 50 yards, something like that. And then uh uh like you saw in the video. He, uh, he went down. I could see him thrashing around. He spilled a lot of blood. Uh, I hit him in the back. It's kind of covered up right now because it's kind of gross looking. But I hit him further back in the abdominal area. Blew everything out that was in there. He made it across that water and just died right here. And so one less coyote uh, going after these deer. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Take care.